Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Satyajit and you're watching Satyajit's artwork. In this video, I'm going to paint a bunch of small grapes. They are red grapes. And you know what they are called? They are called red globes. Wow, such an interesting name, isn't it? Anyways guys, at this stage you can see that I'm just drawing the basic outlines for my painting. And this is very important guys, as you know, and some of you who has seen my um, earlier videos then you can know that uh, I actually go for a detailed drawing rather than a suggestive one. Now at this stage you can see that what I am doing is I am painting a very thin wash of orange mixed with a bit of ponciana and a bit of gumboj yellow in order to create a thin layer that will cover the white of the paper. And now I am just starting with building the initial layers for this particular painting. Now the things that I will be sharing in this particular video are going to be how to construct a painting. That is how you just start a painting from the scratch and how you plan that over the period of time to reach to the final stage when you will actually put a lot of effort in adding details. So this video is going to be only about the first part that will contain the structuring that is uh, the laying of the initial uh, layers of paint and then intermediate layers which I'll be using in order to mark the values and the colors for this particular piece. Now at this stage if you can see I'm just making random brushworks and I'm not very specific about the colors which I often do that at the initial stage I just try to cover the whole surface with a relative color. I refer back to my reference but that is not like that I'm trying to copy it as exactly as it is and it is not even possible guys to copy each little things from your reference you just need to capture the likeness so what is like constructing a painting is all about understanding the bigger shapes at the initial stage you just consider the bigger shapes you don't consider the small little details those are like the ornaments that you put at the very end in order to create the glamour so initially you have to be considering the attire that you are going to wear your hair and all those things that people should not be thinking like that you are going like a weird person when they will be watching you in a party so that is like the thing that you should be initially considering that i have to prepare my painting in a such a way that it is going for a party so what are the things that are very essential shapes the values all those things at this stage also guys if you look at this particular thing you will somehow feel like that there are some sort of fruits so even though I'm not adding a lot of details at this stage, but you can relate to those things. So what are the things that are actually working in its favor that is making you realize that they are fruits, they are shapes. So the shapes are very important guys. You have to be very cautious about uh, using the right shape on right areas. And when I say about shapes, then you have to consider the shapes within the shapes so there are different shapes especially when you are painting realism then you have to look for different shapes within the shapes that are actually evident in nature and you try to replicate it in your work in order to make it look like the thing that you are trying to paint. So at this stage you can see that guys I am just building 
it's different colors you can see the colors that i am using in this particular case are mostly crimson lake red a bit of uh, yellow ochre a bit of cambodia yellow as well on certain places and a bit of vermilion and obviously you can see the stark white guys obviously that is not needed to be mentioned because that is going to be the brightest bright in my piece so you can see that how slowly i'm just trying to build all those shapes at this stage you can feel like that i'm trying to add details but it is not about details guys you will see that how much details is actually left in this particular uh, piece once i'll share that second part of this video in this video i'm not going to share about adding the details part now one thing that is very uh, evident in this case is that once I establish the uh, bigger shapes then you can see that gradually my brush strokes become smaller and smaller. So it is like putting a lot of small brush strokes all together which will clump and will make you feel like that they are a whole unit. So what it does is that it gives you a smooth transition from darker values to lighter values and also gives you more leverage when your eyes moves from a particular color through another color so that is very important guys your eyes should be jumping from one color to another color in such a way that it should not be looking like it is artificial it should be looking like that it is existing in nature and another important thing that i always share on my work is that you have to look for the different possible colors that are present on an area it is not like that the darker tone will be like a mixture of black with that particular color and the lighter values will be a bit of white mixed with that color obviously you will create tints and shades of those particular color and obviously they are going to the most of the surface area that will be covering with those colors only but the things that are essential is that the other colors are also important for an example in this particular case there is a tint of pinkish yellowish color that is you can actually uh, see somewhere glaring in between those red cherry color you can actually uh, see in this particular piece so it is all together creating a lot of contrast and interest in the subject otherwise it will be looking like that there is no color variation in your piece and it is very much like flat so you can see that guys how i'm developing the shadows and once i actually painted the darker values which are obviously not finished at this stage these are the baby steps uh, that i have put right now i need to work a lot of layers of paint over it in order to make it look like the one that i'm trying to achieve so that i'll cover in the second part that i already mentioned so what it is creating at this stage also you can see that guys it is almost looking like realistic if you just look it from a certain distance so all those darker values are actually creating contrast with the lighter ones but one thing if you just remember when we started the drawing although we are making the certain um, the marks and the texture on the surface but it was looking like quite flat but as all of a sudden when we put all those values together you can see that it is creating dimension so you understand guys how important are values in realism if you don't understand the values if you don't grab the potency of values in your work then you cannot achieve the realism doesn't matter how many color you put up on or how many hours you keep to your work so this thing is very important guys and as you can see i'm just following the similar technique of building up the layers of paint that i used for the earlier grapes in the ones that are in somewhere in the like background and they are auto focus they are not in the focus uh, those which are in the focus are the grapes which are in the front and the back ones are actually auto focus so i will try to capture that auto focused look more precisely when i will add more details and that i will share in my next video uh, so i'd like to wrap this video here guys i hope you learned a few of the basic tips for constructing your painting for the detailing part and uh, see you soon guys with my next video and stay tuned for the next part subscribe to my channel and uh, till then take care and keep working hey guys thanks a lot for watching if you want to support my work then please do like comment and share my works and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon which is very important so that you get notified as soon as i post a new video